So, Ron, you're here. That means oh, that. Oh, uh, yeah. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? I'll show it. Whoa, I'll show yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Stop it, guys. Boater Patrol! <laughs> hey, Kirk. Hi there. Um, everybody, this is Molly. Molly's is everybody. Uh, and my brother, Dylan, his fiance, Debbie, and uh, my Barney and Ron. Hey, everybody. This is when you say hi, Molly. Who are you? She's Molly. Why is she here? She came with me. Did you hit her car or something? Jesus, no, but thank you for asking. Are you a social worker? Nope. Oh, are we being evicted? No. Are you a hooker? Dylan. Or a prostitute, I mean? Oh, my God. No, Kirk and I were having dinner the other night, and he said he was getting together with his family, and it's been a while since I had a family dinner, so I don't know. I hope you guys don't mind. I just invited myself along. Well, come on in for a dip, girl. Yeah. Oh, no. You know what? I don't even have a bathing suit. Fucking well, wear your underwear. Yeah. It's just like a bikini. It covers all the good Yeah, underwear is fine. Right. It's like what they did in the old days. Underwear would be fine. If I were wearing any. Lunch is ready. Come on. My mom makes awesome meat loaf. Oh, cool. Up to you. You sure you want to go, Dad? What are you, my sponsor? Hit me. Ron, honey, you know, I never complimented you on your, on your sweater vest. It's, it's something. Here you go. Dylan, you know, I think if you just apologize to Leroy, he'll take you back. No, screw him. Anyways, I already got a foolproof moneymaker on the way. You're really going to want to pay attention to this. I know how to make any car into a convertible in 15 minutes, so. Wow. Yeah. You know why? No. Two words, global warming. Uh, actually, Dylan, according to the day after tomorrow, the film, uh, the Earth actually gets colder. Yep. Uh, what's, what's up with you? Are you these days? Are you, uh, what, do you want me to help you with the girl? Oh, are you seriously not wearing any underwear? Dylan! Deb, we're all thinking it. If you want to plan an exit strategy or leave right now, I, I won't be offended. No, I'm not going anywhere. What do you do? I'm an event planner. See? That's a business to get into. Uh -huh. That's using your head. Thank you, Dylan. No, wait for it. I mean, book a band, blow up a few balloons. People pay out for that, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, 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 um. I'm not wearing any underwear. Did you get my messages? Yeah, yeah, I got them, Kirk. Kirk, what the happened the other night? Um, you act like a freak with Captain Pickles, and you won't even get off the couch to shake my father's hand when we had a whole conversation about how he was old-fashioned. I, uh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I spent a whole day with your entire family, and you can't even spend 30 seconds with mine. I mean, that's a pretty big red flag. It is not a red flag, Molly. Oh, Kirk, I can't do this here. I'm, I'm working, and... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> in my pants. Uh, yeah, we, we were getting sort of hot and nasty. Uh, and, you know, it's not every day that I have a super hot girl grinding on top of me. And I got a little too excited. And uh, before I know it, your parents are in the room, and I'm sitting there with just a big friggin' oyster in my shorts. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll say this for him. He's honest. So, thanks for the advice. That went horribly. Enjoy the air show, boys, and I'm going to uh, go... 
No guy in his right mind would ever make that up, right? <laughs> you should probably go talk to him. Yeah. Let's just wait one second. And here she comes. <laughs> Park! <Yes. Yeah. laughs> oh, she told him a joke. It's something. It's something's funny. They're, they're, kid, they're, they're, they're kissing. Yes! You're like Yoda. Yeah, I know. Like Yoda. The force is strong with you, Jack. Trust the system. It takes care of itself. Oh, it went well. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, she sure is something, isn't she? It's Kirk, right? Hi, Cam. Excellent to see you again, sir. Listen, Kirk, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, I guess so. See ya. Listen, Kirk, I understand that fellas such as yourself have uniquely candid relationships with the women that they befriend, am I right? Fellas such as myself? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have no problem with your lifestyle. I mean, what two or more grown men do in the privacy of their own home is of no concern to me. Uh, no. Hey, Molly, Molly, check it out. So, Deb and I are getting hitched. Uh-huh. How much cash do you pocket for a wedding job? Dylan, is any of this striking you as inappropriate? We're just making conversation. Don't get your panties in a wad, Kirk. Uh, Jesus. No, it's fine. Um, it, a lot of factors affect the cost of a wedding. Check it out. We got about 100 peeps coming, yeah. and we're doing a whole NASCAR theme in Vegas. I'm gonna get this kick dress made out of actual checkered flags, like real tight, and then Dylan's gonna be in a wicked orange tux with a Home Depot logo on the back. What's up? Right? <laughs> right? You've probably never seen anything like that, huh? You don't Extensive. even know? Extensive. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the damage on something like that? My base fee is 15,000, so 100 people. I mean, I'd ballpark that somewhere around 50 grand. You. What? You. You. That's a lot of 15-minute convertibles, eh? There, Dylan. Yeah. Wait. So you 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 make a pretty comfortable living, huh? Sometimes. Like you got your head on right, and you don't do underwear. The f you doing with numb nuts here? Dylan. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey. Well, fair question. That's a fair question. Molly, I am so sorry. It's fine. You know. Um, I mean. I don't, I don't really know. No, he makes me laugh. Um, he doesn't try and impress me. And um, I can just be m me around him. Oh, that's sweet. She's a keeper. Hey, Kirk makes you laugh? You a comedian? I didn't know. Hey, hey tell us a joke there, Sinbad. <laughs> I totally understand what you're talking about, Molly. It's the curse of being an attractive woman. I mean, men are always putting us on a pedestal, expecting us to be something that we're not. Us. Come on, Marty, get real. What? Okay, you know, Molly, we are taking a big family trip out to Branson on the 31st, and I think you two should come. I, don't, I, I think you're wrong. I don't think that's a very good oh, idea. Yeah, definitely. You should come. We don't have enough oh, no. shows. Uh, Kenny Rogers got his own theater. We'll get a ticket. I'll get you a ticket. Little Branson's fact. small. Branson's a big place. Shut up, Ron. Look. Uh, can we go? Yes, you're calm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yay! Hey, I'm so, so <laughs> right. relax. Molly, I think there's something you should know. Kirk and I used to be lovers. If you stay with him long enough, he'll give you one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. That's mine, it's for my earrings. Kirk, you look really good. Thank you. You look really... Thank you so much. It was fantastic meeting you. Oh, you too. You're so special, and oh. God, I just... Oh. oh. Uh... Branson, think about it. Okay. Okay. She's really great. Later, pirate. Yeah.